an NFL return that took almost two years, and a three times All Star coming up. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so thrilled to be able to do a video for you today. I have taken a few weeks off, as some of you might have noticed. That, you know, actually, I think only two people noticed because that's about the number of people that commented and said, hey, hey, we're, hey Troy, what, what's going on? So I will talk to you about that at the end of the video because not everybody here wants to hear about that, to be honest with you. So check it out at the end of the video. It's going to really hurt my uh, my view retention because I could just already hear people going, Bloop, psh, and falling off, but that's okay. Today, well, if you're new to this channel, my name is TTM Troy, and basically I help people collect autographs through the mail, and I do that by showing you some of the successes that I have gotten, and today is no different. And if you wanna see close-up scans of all these videos, uh, or all these photos, or returns, these autographs, this, whatever we're talking about today, you can actually do that at my website. But before you do that, you wanna make sure to check out my video on how to collect through the mail autographs. And you can find that on my channel and I'll link to the playlist down below. It's kind of a neat little playlist I put together just to help get you started or maybe rehash some things in your mind about autograph collecting. So definitely check that out. I'll put that down below, but let's get straight to the autograph, shall we? Here you go. Here's the first one, the NFL return. Boom. All right, first we have Greg Olson. He signed two of two in 639 days via the Carolina Panthers. And according to what I see, he is still with them. I didn't check up on this, but when I uh, put all these stats down in my little Google Doc, that's what I have. So you can see the address right there for the Panthers. Hmm. Now he has played from 2007 to the present for the Bears, Eric Moran Films' uh, favorite team. I'm not sure why. And the Carolina Panthers which is this card here and where he is currently. Now, Mr. Olsen is a three times pro bowler, a two times second team all pro, and back in when he was drafted, he was actually drafted in the third round by the Buffalo Bills. There you go. <laughs> so here you go, Mr. Greg Olsen. Next we have Brad Shaw. He signed one of one in 22 days via the Columbus Blue Jackets. And you can see the address right there. Now, Mr. Shaw played from 1984 to 1999 for the Whalers, the Senators, the Capitals, and the St. Louis Blues. Now, in 1982, he was drafted 86th overall. And since he's played, he's actually been a coach for the Lightning, the Detroit Vipers, the Springfield Falcons, the Cincy Mighty Ducks, the Islanders, the Blues, and obviously, since that's where I got this, the Blue Jackets. So thank you, Mr. Shaw. Very happy to add yet another hockey TTM to my returns, Mr. Brad Shaw. Next we have Rick Sutcliffe. He signed one of one in 41 days for the set. <laughs> Via his home in California, the address for Mr. Sutcliffe is on Star Tiger. Now he played from 1976 to 1994 for the Dodgers, the Indians, the Cubs, the Orioles, and the Cardinals. Now, like I said in the intro, he was a three times All-Star in 83, 87, and 89. The uh, Cy Young winner in the National League. <clears throat> the National League Rookie of the Year. The Roberto Clemente Award. The National League Wins Leader in 1987. And the American League ERA Leader in 1982. Now, Mr. Sutcliffe did not play in the 1981 World Series, but he actually got a ring from the Dodgers anyway. There you go. <laughs> One of his most famous things was he uh, actually stole home plate in 1988 versus the Phillies. So there you go. And currently he is actually a motivational speaker. He travels around talking, or travels around talking and getting people pepped up like I try to do in this video, but he gets paid a lot more. Probably $500,000 or times more <laughs> than zero. There you go, Mr. Rick Sutcliffe. Next, we have Barry Larkin, another great, great player. Now, three times All-Star, that's one thing. Hey, try 12 times All-Star, okay? 
He signed one of one in 37 days via his home in Florida. You can see the address right there. Now, he played from 1986 to 2004, his entire career for the Reds. Like I said, he is a 12, 12 times All-Star, the 1990 World Series champion, the National League MVP, a three times Gold Glove winner, nine times Silver Slugger winner, also Roberto Clemente Award winner, and is a member of the Reds Hall of Fame and the Baseball Hall of Fame after being inducted in 2012. Mr. Barry Larkin for the set. So next I want to actually give a big thank you to some of you who have sent some uh, autographs for my autograph wall. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with my autograph wall. Now you might remember that I'm trying to get you guys to send me some autographs of you. Yes, you. Even you. Uh, <laughs> To put up on my wall and uh, basically if you send me a 4x6 or 5x7 postcard, hopefully, or 3x5, whatever, 3.5x5, whatever they are, I am putting those up on my wall. And I got this idea because Zane Savage, Zane Savage uh, of the Autographers Anonymous podcast used to have these signatures up on his wall behind him. Uh, in his background, I thought that was pretty cool. Now I have a good background here and... Uh, I think everybody knows this, but you guys know that this is actually fabric, right? Those aren't the real autographs. That's something I had made. But um, I want to put your guys' autographs up on my wall. And some of you have sent in some stuff. Currently, I have them kind of by the window over here. Uh, I should do a TTM tour or, some, or office tour. I haven't done that in a while. Would you guys comment down below if you want to see the TTM office tour video and I'll try to do that. But some of you have sent some things in, so I, I definitely want to show some of those here. So um, first off, I got one from Henry Nelson in Brooklyn, New York. Sent me a card there and they're kind of gonna throw off my focus and my white balance. So Henry sent me a card and a nice letter here. So thank you, Henry. And then I also got one from, uh, let's see, uh, uh, Fazo the Clown, a.k.a. Steve, <laughs> who sent me not only an autograph, but he sent me four autographs of him as his character, Fazo the Clown. I'll, I'll try to scan this and put this up there. Um, <laughs> and so... He has his autograph on the front and the back, and he sent me a nice little uh, letter here that I could put on that. So I'm definitely going to put that up on my custom wall with all the other custom cards I have. I'm kind of look. Sorry about that. I kind of hit the microphone there, but uh, the custom cards look really cool and top loaders on the wall. So that will go over with that. Very nice. Thank you so much. And then, oh. I should do a special video for this one because one, two of my favorite collectors from up north, eh? Okay, not not from Canada, but from Minnesota. I got a great custom from, and wow, it looks like it cost seventeen dollars or nine hundred and seventeen dollars, something like that. This is amazing. Dustin and Blake, ladies and gentlemen, a custom card from Dustin and Blake. Uh, you can check them out here on YouTube. Awesome people. They make great content. I haven't actually met them yet. They're just uh, up over the border to Minnesota. <laughs> so, and they sent me the card and then they also sent an index card, which is again going to throw off the white balance, but you can see that right there. So very cool. Thank you, Dustin and Blake. And I will save some of these for later because I don't want to put them all in one video. I want to kind of spread the love out, but thank you guys. That is amazing. And if you want to be a part of the autograph wall, I think Megan is uh, sending me something here soon. So Megan, be, be sure to include a uh, autograph of your own when you send that to me. And if you want my address, you can just find it down below. It's my PO box. That's fine. Um, I'm not going to do a fan mail Friday. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, oh, I know everybody's so disappointed, but it is really cool, and I will do, based on your guys' feedback only, I will try to do a TTM office tour. If you guys want it, comment down below. 
So where have I been? Um, so last month I did something where I needed to get a lot of autographs up online in a video before baseball was over. And so I did like a video a day for 20 days, something like that. And then I was like, this is way too much. And so I put together that big long video that was 40 minutes. And what you guys don't know, that was about 14, 15 videos that I had actually recorded and kind of put all together. So that took a lot. That was, uh, it took a lot of editing. It took a lot of scanning. And I just kind of needed a, uh, a little bit of a break. I've also been having some, uh, uh, I don't know how to put it. I, I haven't been feeling the urge to do a video. You know, they talk a lot on YouTube about burnout. And I'm not sure if it was burnout or not, but you know, I have this year. I went to two social media conferences, uh, specifically about YouTube. Um, I went to Social Media Marketing World, and then I went to VidCon. And uh, you know, I get charged up, but at the same time, after VidCon, I just really felt down. I can't I can't really explain it. I, and I don't know if it was because it was over, and I was like, ah, I got to go back to the real world, or or what the deal was, but I just wasn't quite feeling uh, the urge to do those videos in August and September, and then obviously October um, is when I took the break. But thank you for staying with me. I really appreciate that. And uh, I got some more autographs to show you, so hopefully you will stick it out with me <laughs> as long as I'm doing this crazy autograph thing, which I think I'll be doing for a while. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, like I said, check out that playlist down below uh, and just watch that playlist. Even if you are an old pro at collecting autographs, that really mean a lot to me. And you guys know that uh, if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. We got some fun stuff coming up. I'm thinking of uh, doing the hit the deck contest. Those who might remember that from a couple of years ago, thinking about maybe doing that December through February and seeing how that goes. So stay tuned. And uh, hopefully we'll get some, some more interest in that. So I want to thank you. It is Sunday. It's This week is going to be Halloween. And uh, uh, yeah, I will have another video for you at least on Thursday. All right. So thank you so much. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.